You might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. But I will not be outworked. If you think that you're going to go and accomplish something really special and be the best in anything in the world, and you think you can do it without working, you make a big mistake. There are often two voices in our heads every day. One, which we usually look forward to obliging, is the comforting one that all us to keep sleeping. There is, however, the second voice that awakens you from your deep slumber. It is the devilish voice that keeps whispering in your ear, telling you to get up because you are unworthy. You need to try harder and put in more effort. You haven't given it enough time. It's the voice you want to ignore and aren't ready to hear. But you know, you must pay attention to that voice. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. If a person leaves at six, you leave at eight. If a person makes 100 calls a day, you make 200 calls a day. If somebody practices three hours, you practice five hours. If somebody practices six hours, you practice eight hours. If someone reads two books, you read four books. Just do a little bit more. People often state their objectives, targets, and desires, yet you seldom ever hear them mention the sacrifices they are prepared to make to achieve those objectives. You may be more talented than everyone else in the room, but there is something you cannot get, no matter how much money you are willing to pay, and that's what real beasts do. That is something you're going to have to do. You've got to put in more effort and energy than everyone else work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. Your life isn't all game. It's a competition. It is merely your last and your only chance. Others will tell you that they want to be great and that they want to be exceptional, but they won't state that they will not go out on Friday nights partying anymore. They won't say that they're going to make a sacrifice and stay up late practicing. You are procrastinating, but you let it slip since you are not getting up when you should. There's people in here far superior than me, but there's no one in here who's gonna work harder than me. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. I'm too damn tough to give up. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline and consistency every day, not just on Tuesday and this a few days. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day. You've heard the saying, we don't plan to fail, we fail to plan. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. Here is another piece of advice while we are at it. Stop handing out with people who tell you that it's okay to let go of your dreams, to take a rest instead of running after them, and that you did what you possibly could. No matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstance, you leave them behind and tell yourself, let's go. Could you hear me? You need to quit convincing yourself that your efforts are sufficient. You need to keep doing more. Nobody ever won a Nobel Prize working five days a week, nine to five. If you're going to do something great, it takes a lot of time and hard work is important. Life is never sufficient unless you have the overriding sensation that you are outperforming everyone else. I work harder than everyone. I'm working harder. When you are there, only then you know that you've accomplished enough. When you're discouraged, that's when you need to perform at your best. So when you don't feel like doing anything, just get up and do it. Give everything you've ever done at some time in your life. It's not sufficient to land on the stars. You must keep trying until you get to the moon. That was your actual dream. Then why be satisfied with the stars only? So it is not enough to only win a 5 kilometers race. You need to win the 10 kilometers one, two. Being a better doctor is necessary for addition to becoming one. Never settle for anything less. Be distinctive. Make an effort to improve by 10% from the previous week. So, if you run 20 miles a week, increase it to 25. 
Swim 600 meters tomorrow if you are swimming 500 meters today. You are not the only one running this race. There will always be someone who is currently doing their best to take your place. You tell yourself, yeah, you have to do another one. Just after you think you've completed the final rep and your muscles are telling you, I can't do it anymore. Because that person may be working on two more right now as you're giving up. He could just be in his zone whilst you are planning to give up and saying, Okay, I did enough. Now I should relax. There will always be at least one person who would be working harder than you are. Thus, being aware that someone out there is prepared to sacrifice personal preferences and conveniences, you know what to do. Work like hell. Give up sleep. Give up whatever it takes to improve, to become the best. There are many of us who have such a competitor out there. Thus, no matter what your talents are, it would not matter if you are not willing to work like a beast. This is such an easy concept. The person who is ready to try their best would be the God. If a person makes 100 calls a day, you go make 200 calls that day. If someone practices for three hours, you practice for six hours. If they read two books, then you go read four of them. Do at least a little more than you see others doing. Keep calling until it is picked up. Keep practicing until you get the desired results. Read that book again and again until you understand the meaning of each and every word written in. It's one thing to be starving, but it's entirely different to start training and perform like a show when you're ravenous for glory and achievement. You may not know them personally, but you know that they are out there. You must ensure that when people think of you, they consider you as that person. You are the hunter in their dreams. Instead of being overwhelmed by others' efforts, be the one who overwhelms others. If you are not ready to put in the effort daily, you won't be able to defeat the one who does. Think of it this way. I work like hell. They haven't outworked me, even if I'm not the best. I'm a beast instead, and usually, when you're competing with other beasts, they might desire something more than you. They aren't more talented than you, they just acknowledge what they are after. When you discover your ways, you figure out how to make them happen. You need to find something within you for pushing and motivating you. And when you feel like giving up, be sure to go back on all the moments and days when you gave up to be the best. Because being the best is not your goal. Your goal is to win the competition of beasts that your life actually is.